dogfight, just j- out of idle curiosity. You actually can fly. That, that's what that, that's what your human biplane thing means, right? Yes, I all right. Fly. All right, so, all right, so I don't have to snatch you up and haul you out of here to save you. That's a, that's a, all you're doing is getting your stuff together. That 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 would be incredibly embarrassing for me. What happened if I hadn't realized when you said you were the human biplane that you could fly yourself? <laughs> that's, that's, what was, that's what was about to happen. You, you know, look, you, we'd have both looked ridiculous. You, stra- you trying to move me from somewhere and me like slapping at you as you're doing something. I didn't figure you would be happy with it. <laughs> All right. Um, well, in that case, it's like dogfight. Uh, get to the hangar. And, uh, uh, now, I'm going to rescue Peaches. <laughs> okay, how far can you fly around safely to pick Peaches up? Define safely. <laughs> I can rush. I can rush 160. Yeah, but that rush means that you're basically turning into a bullet. Yes. Yes, you, you don't want to do that. If defined uh, rescue. Peaches uh, would become a, a, a thin red mist. All right, all right. I, I'm, I'm going to have to. I was. That's what I was going to ask. Was if I was going to have to approach her at, at my slower speed, and then like I could grab her and like make a rush for the inside of the hangar. And uh, you know, I'm like, dog fight, get to the hangar. Okay. And, and, so and then I, then I reach into my I reach into my pocket. And I pull out that old sea ration full of like, you know, you know, canned spam that I absolutely hate and don't eat. And I do the grenade pulling motion and I throw it at the sergeant down here. And go and go, suck grenade, you Nile some bitch. And uh, do a uh, do a ta- uh, do a uh, maneuver against him to make him die for cover. I am well, I am tricking him into like, uh, or, or uh, uh, making him think that there is a uh, uh, a grenade incoming, and get him to dive for cover to hopefully stymie him or make him vulnerable for the, the next. The most dangerous round. new munition, the Fa'at for E. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh. And then I'm going to fly for what's her, and then I'm going to fly for what's her name for Peaches. Okay. Now hold on. Hold on. Uh-huh. Uh, what is Mo's actual speed? Let me, let me pop my open here. It, so, flying, it's 20. Flying, he can move 20 meters. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, 3, 6, 9, uh, 12, 15, 18. You could, <clears throat> if you do things right, if you make all your rolls, you can actually get to the door that's down here. With peaches? With peaches. But... Here's the deal. You're rolling uh, a three-point multi-action. Your first one is the taunt. The mm-hmm. second one is your movement to get to Peaches safely. Mm-hmm. Your third is for a, um, let's see, an unarmed combat roll so that you can pick Peaches up successfully. Yep. Okay. So... <laughs> Have at it, buddy. <laughs> there. You better not screw this up, fly boy. Now, uh, listen here, bruised ribs aren't that bad. Okay, so do, is your taunt skilled? <laughs> Actually, it's a it's it's a, uh, it's a maneuver, not a taunt. Yeah. Uh, now wait a minute. You're hmm? you're trying to trick Manatep here, right? Into no, who? I'm trying to, I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to like do a maneuver against this, uh, this sergeant up here to okay. get him to die for cover instead of, uh, oh, uh, you don't you know, have room to, to the... do that. You don't have room to do that. Um, uh, no, if, not. okay. You can move 20, right? Okay. Well, if, if, Hang if on. I can get to peaches this round, then I can just, I, I will just, uh, Forego the maneuver. Uh, I was just doing that because I didn't think I could get to her this round. And no, I, I'm just, okay. I'm just throwing, I, I'm throwing, I was throwing a can of food at him, pretending it was a grenade to make him like, you know, die for cover. Okay. 
Uh, okay, I'll let that happen. Yeah, it was. It, 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 it was. It was merely a. Uh, uh, you know, according to the maneuver thing, that that would count as a maneuver, but it's a. Uh, you know, I mean, it's just a. Uh, it's it's just basically a cheap trick to try to get him to like die for cover and uh, hopefully put a condition on him for the next round. That's but, uh, the thing. It's it's a trick. You're actually trying yeah. to trick him into into diving. It's not a taunt or a maneuver. Yeah, but they don't have trick anymore. <laughs> yeah, they do. It's on the character sheet <laughs> right here. Oh, it is? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> under interactions. So let's see. No, they don't have perception one. anymore. My bad. You uh -huh. have maneuver at one. What I would allow you to do instead is um, act like you're basically charging the guy. Uh, you go about three meters ahead... And, and as soon as you see him flinch, if he flinches, if you're successful, he yeah. would, you know. So here's what I need you to do. Your maneuver is skilled. Your, uh, your armed combat is skilled. So you see attributes up here at the top of your sheet? Uh-huh. Go ahead and click on attributes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm going to close your sheet here and move this somewhere handy. And it's it's is it asking you for a modifier? The uh, what am I clicking on uh, on in, in attributes? Uh, if I just click on attributes, no, it doesn't do anything. Click on the title attributes. Attributes. I am. It's it doesn't give me any sort of click. I have to go down to charisma to get one. No. Did you click on your character first? Uh, hang on. I thought I had. Let me make sure. If you selected Mo first. Yeah, I've selected Mo. And okay. I just have an arrow on attributes, but it gives me a, the finger on a charisma. <laughs> That's terrible. Okay. It is, isn't it? Very rude. Okay. All right. Now, there it goes. It, it finally did it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yes, it's asking me for a modifier. Okay. It's going to be a minus four. Because you're doing a multi-action. All right. Minus four. Okay. Uh, you should be able to hit uh, submit, and then it's going to ask you if it's skilled, unskilled, or something else. I don't remember. Go with skilled since both your maneuver and your dexterity are skilled. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. We're going to see if we get any bruised ribs on all the peaches here. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Uh, okay, so the answer to that is yes. Oh, uh, she's going to murder you in your sleep. No, hold on. Oh, no. Uh oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Wait. Hang on. I'm trying to get something done. Where's the value? I'm, I'm counting something, so let's see. That is one, two, three. Mo, mm -hmm. you end up right here, and you are no longer flying. All right. Uh, and you did not succeed at anything. <laughs> You've got a, a result of a minus eight. Your uh, maneuver is a seven, so that gives you a minus one. And then with the, the minus two penalty to multi for uh, being a oh boy and then get back down there. And then, yeah, you're you're a hurting unit. Uh, matter of fact, I want you to take two shock as a result of that. Um, Is there a dust, a dust plume rising up like a mushroom cloud? Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> do you, do you remember – have have any of you seen um, uh, Rocketeer? The oh, Rocketeer. Yep. Okay. Yes, I have. So here's what Mo did. Follow my arrow, okay? So he went about that far, and then his rocket pack dunked him into the concrete. Or actually, it's it's uh, it's more like rocks and pebbles, and then onto the asphalt, and then into the sand, and he is presently face down in the sand. Oh, God, that's, that's sand in places you can't afford to get sand in. Precisely. Chris, it's your turn. Turn too tight. 
Over over thruster malfunction. Okay, did you take your two shots? <laughs> yes. I'm okay. Gonna to, I'm going to have to do something about that. So, upon seeing that shock trooper, and I can tell he's out of range because it's like 50 meters in between us right now, uh, I would kind of duck behind the tail of the plane by running full sprint pretty much. Okay. So what is your, I believe you're, you're able to move at 10 and 30. Yep. Okay. Um, then that means you can move 10 spaces for your all out run. Okay. Fair enough. Now what you see ahead of you while I'm, I'm taking a second here is, uh, there is an office right in front of you, if I can get my map to move over. There we go. So um, this area right here, there's a door right here. You see where I'm pointing? Yep. Okay, and these blue lines right here are all windows. Um, and you see that there is a person sitting inside the office beyond the windows. It looks like he's sitting behind a desk, but you can't really tell. And his and there is a pilot's cap over his eyes. So he's asleep, he's asleep right, right now. now. Uh, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and move into the next round, unless anybody else has anything that they absolutely have to accomplish. Remember to pop a card into your pool. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Uh, if you have not already put a card from your pool or from your hand into your pool, please do so. Oh, thank you. I had forgotten. Nobody succeeded at a maneuver or a taunt, so that card goes away unless you want to keep it. Uh, and let me get a card out here. Click to draw, drag to deal. Oh, this is interesting. What's interesting? That we have two characters with who fly. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. So, into the air is the name of the card, which is actually kind of appropriate. Any test of air vehicles is favored this round. Okay, you're you're not doing anything with air vehicles. Um, your approved actions are maneuver and trick. Uh, it is a standard scene, so uh, uh, heroes get to go first, and villains will be fatigued. But at the end of their round, they will lose their stymie or vulnerable, or at least some level of it. Uh, Chris, do you want to go first so you can potentially do something with the dude in the office? Well, he's asleep right now, so I don't need to do with anything to him at the moment. Drop a lamp on his head. Look, if he has slept through all the gunfire and explosions, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let him sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just let him sleep, and when he becomes a problem, I'll deal with him then. Sounds good. Okay, so uh, I think that a current plan, everyone who's close to or in a hangar should start trying to look for a plane that's flyable, because we don't have too many Nile troopers that are alive within easy firing distance at the moment, given how big this map is. Uh, there's a plane in here. Yeah, but uh, you guys don't have communications right now, because this right here, if I can get my stuff to go, you've got a door right here, but you have a wall all along here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you guys cannot hear or see each other, and these doors over here are closed. After Chris went through them, uh, they're kind of those automatic closure doors. They've got a spring to them. Yeah, I see. Okay. They're closed, but not locked. Correct. In fact, even this door and this door are not locked. Uh, not that you need to know that or anything, but, you know... Um, so, who wants to go first? Uh, Chris, do you want to go first and see if you can find anything that might either be useful or 
any other means of escape or shortcuts to get inside that we'd not be able to use? Uh, I think I should first kind of deal with the guy that's in here. That's fair. Uh, hey, did we that... ever get a chance to put a card in pool or no? Did I miss uh, that? At the end of last round, yeah, you should have. Okay, my bad. I had to make a phone call. I haven't been paying attention. Oh, smack your own hand. All yeah, right. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, I think, I think this, uh, I think this turn. I mean, the the, you know, we're trying to get into the hangar. We're trying to make an escape, not like win a fight at this point. Exactly. There's way too many of them for us to take at the moment. Uh, so every, you know, I was yelling, "Get to the hangar, don't fight! Get to the hangar!" And I, I, I heard that part. Crashing, heard that part. like crashing. Uh, then, then the rocket ranger, like completely, like you know, his rocket, like completely, like you know, sputtered, popped, and jumped his ass in the ground. <laughs> you're, you're, you're extremely lucky that I am currently like got my head in this shed trying to because I'd be making all kinds of fun of you right now. I know, I know. <laughs> I, I, for God's sake, don't tell Dogfight about that. <laughs> hey, Robert. Yes. Um, I, I see that you're trying to make some measurements. Um. If you oh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, you're just playing around? Yeah, I'm just playing around. Sure. Okay. That's what I'm doing. All right. Uh, so does anybody want to do something besides make a run for the... For the uh... I can't run for it because of a character flaw that I have. So I guess I, I guess I could at least try and move into the very entrance of the hangar here. Okay. Like move toward the door. Okay. And I, the best possible speed. I would let you get inside. I'm not... I would let you get inside if you can provide me a dex check. Very well. My dex is super bad, but I can at least give you a give it a shot. Okay. You're targeting. I just I just want to see him. Don't roll a one. Uh, Don't roll a one. Okay. Oh, not terrible. Okay, let me get back over there. Okay, oh, 14. Okay, you make it inside the hangar. You're good to go. Uh, before I, all right, before I go inside, can I use my action to, that is the wrong tool. I did not mean to draw a random line. Uh, oops. I, I, I'll, I'll erase that shortly. <laughs> I just wanted to see if I could hit this guy with doom from here. Kind of while you're on the move. Yeah. Um, you could hit that guy, but okay, hang on. Um, I take it you you've tried to measure it. Yes, that was me trying to measure. Okay, and it's twenty five meter range. It's fifty meter range. That one's a fifty meter range. Ugh, I wish they yeah. just made these solid. Um, okay, so. Um, yeah, you can give it a shot. You can't see him real easily because of the legs of the tower here. But, uh, you can, you can give it a shot. You've got a penalty of two. Okay, let's give this a whirl. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say that's, that's a no. Okay, so I take my I'll take my two shock with Grace then. Uh yeah. Okay, and, and then you're able to kind of get inside. Uh pretty Okay. Quick. Okay, so that's Chris. No, oh, no, Chris, you haven't moved yet. That's the ban. And okay, so that leaves Chris Peaches Mo and Dogfight. Dogfight is still digging in the in the shed. Don't worry about Dogfight. Okay, yeah, that's true. Uh, I <laughs> forgot. Well, I turn this round, over. Right? You've got one round left that you have. You're gonna have to dig in there. Right. I know. Okay. All right, Peaches. Are you, are you are you gonna do anything besides run? Uh, well, actually, do you need first aid or covering? Because I can, I can cover you while you pick yourself up if you're gonna need a round. No, I, I, I don't think that affected. I don't think that gave me uh, any sort of. Oh, lingering effect, so I'll, I should be able to get up and run with you. Peaches. <laughs> can I can I put them in a fireman's carry and try Hang to get on. through the door with it? Hang on. 
<laughs> oh, please let me see that. I, 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 I don't weigh. I don't weigh an ounce over seven hundred pounds. So. <laughs> it's like that one picture of Mark Hamill lifting himself on Daisy, Daisy Ridley's back from episode eight behind the scenes. No, oh, Jesus. Other way around. Sorry. Okay. Are we listening? Yes. yes. Peaches. I need you to scroll your map directly up from where Peaches is centered. And keep going until you see all the shock troopers that are coming your way. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's time to start running. Okay, so go ahead and, and make your moves. Do you want to try and get inside? Yeah. Um... It's a shame she can't drag Mo with her, but he can he can pick himself up, right? Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He's moving. He's he's doing just fine. He's just got okay. sanity going. How many feet can I can I just take off and run? And how many feet can I run? Okay. Well, uh, pop open your character sheet. I'm doing the same. And I want you to look at this down the center of the character sheet under derived ratings. You're going to oh, yeah. oh. move is 10, run is 30, which is pretty good, um, and divide those numbers by three. So you could technically move three spaces without uh, incurring a penalty, or you could run up to 10 spaces incurring a penalty. Uh, I'll just run without a penalty. One, two, three spaces. Okay. So... Huh. Mo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mo gets up and runs two spaces without incurring a penalty. Okay. Actually, no, no, I can do this next round. Yeah. Mo, Mo, Mo like, runs, and he can get right there if he runs. And, ooh, ooh, I'm going to try to cast heal on myself. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, you still have those. <laughs> yeah, he still got his his uh, miracles. So let's see. Yeah, um, since you went to run, that's a minus two penalty. That's yeah, it's a minus two penalty. Right. And then getting in into and through the door accurately, I'm going to give you another minus two. So you've got a total of minus four. Ah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> All right, modifiers, minus four. He just loves those modifiers. All right, so I cast heal. I spend a possibility. Oh, uh, well, okay. Yeah. Hang on, because a six isn't a, uh, a six you... isn't a success. Uh, no, mm -hmm. not a success. Yeah. Yeah, I, I need a I need a possibility or do you have yeah. a card in your pool that you can use hey uh, dogfight I, I unfortunately do not okay um, dogfight there's a, a yeah, little well, bit of a problem um, do you you've got a hand pool card right yeah okay and we only ended the first round, so you shouldn't have two cards in that pool. The other one's my Cosm card. Uh, okay. All right. All right. If that's how you want to keep it, that's okay. Um, okay. So, yeah. let's see. Mo, are you going to spend a, a possibility? But I was going to ask, does anybody have a supporter card? Uh, nope. All the um, at all the test boosted cards I have only work for the one playing them. Uh, let's see. I'm mine. What's the What's the difficulty on the heal? I forgot to put that in the description. I think it's just ten. That's yeah, what I thought. Then as for want to work for it. Yep. I need. I need. Uh, that would get me to nine. I would still need one. Yeah, I'm just going to spend the possibility. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, let me, let me, uh, let's see. Healing should be in the main book. I thought you had that in there. Um, I did. I don't think, I don't think I'd put the, uh, 
I don't think I transferred the value over oh, when I oh, oh, when I when I did that, and uh, it just didn't have the uh, the value of uh, what I needed to roll. Okay, so this is a miracle, right? Mm -hmm. So healing. Okay, it's a standard difficulty number ten. If you want to change that. Yeah, yeah, I, I added it in. I just. Uh, uh, so now that should be correct that I need a 10 in order to uh, uh, make my uh, roll successful. So Wait a minute. Mm, all right, so. Mm. Okay. Let me see something. I don't think you got it. Uh, things are, are moving really, really slow all over. So let's see. Roll 20 is fighting Five, you, 10. man. It's, it's like, like really going to fish. Okay, and then the target is a standard 10. Come on, change. There we go. Now it changed. Yep, there it goes. Goodness gracious. Are you going to roll a possibility? So, yeah. Actually, I, I'll, I'm not going to spend the possibility this round. Okay. I, I'll just try to cast it again next round. Well, wait, I have to take two shock if you I do have that. You take two I? shock, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just spend the possibility. Okay, so click the possibility button. No, make sure that Mo is selected. Mo is selected. Okay. I, well, I keep clicking on Mo. Am I, am I not getting Mo? Hang on a second. You guys keep running underneath Suban. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah we're, okay, so move him back. Okay, so now he's selected. It's okay, I can, you can, I can float over you. Now hit All right, so... Spend the possibility. Submit. Okay, that's a little bit better. Yeah. Uh, that's going to give you a, a good success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that'll remove all shock. Okay. It, so, it, would, it would fix a wound or two, too, but I don't have any of those. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's see. That leaves Chris Peaches... Chris and Peaches. No, Peaches already moved, so that leaves Chris. Okay. Uh, I uh, with my ruler, I checked to see if the guy was like barely on the edge of twenty-five meters. Which guy? So oh, that is guy. he within my twenty-five meters or not? Hang, hang on. Let me let me see something. I completely forgot about this guy altogether. He's about to move. But he hasn't moved yet. Yeah, he just had two more people like bust in the front door on him. He is, uh, he is just outside of your range. You, you don't forget, you got to measure from the center of your token or space to the center of their token or space. So yeah, uh, he is. If your range yeah, is yeah. limited to twenty-five meters, you can't hit him. Only now he's seen you. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll move just a bit. Yeah. Yeah, you haven't moved this round, so you could do that. Okay. So now that he's in my range, right? Uh, yeah, he's in my range. Two, that'll do it. I'll now use pyrokinesis on the, on the guy. Okay, I want you to understand something about that. The description for pyrokinesis says that you shoot a gout of flame over that distance. What do you have in your way? Gas. Well, not just gas. Okay. How about an airplane? Oh. How, about, how about the way we're escaping? Well, yeah, let's uh, not do that. Please don't wreck the bus. So, Chris. Is the ring, are the wings touching the water? Um, like, no. They are uh, above the water, probably about almost two meters. Um, but there are uh, pontoons. Be right back. I just need to use the restroom. I'll... So what do you want to do? Then I guess I use my telekinesis to drag him into the water. There you go. And telekinesis does reach that 25 meters, right? Right. Okay. Go ahead and roll it. No penalties. Or modifiers, correct? Or, or modifiers. Ooh. Six. Okay. Um, old boy is now in the water. Okay. 
so he was he was beginning to lift his uh, Schmeiser MP40 in your direction, and you yanked him into the water. He's injured and he's stymied, so I'm going to have to make a check for him when it comes to comes around to his turn. Uh, so that's almost it. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Dogfight. Yo. Uh, go ahead and give me another dex check. Target number is 10. Okay. Yeah. Now I'm supposed to hit my guy and then do my character sheet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No modifier, submit. Correct. What okay, a, uh, a, a 10 is, is your base level. Okay, so you've got one more round to go. I was trying to kind of cut your time short on that, but you do have another round to go. Um, I think, um, okay. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so that's it for you guys. Um, I've got a bunch of movement to do because this base is, is very active. I'm back. Welcome back. Uh, it's the villain's turn. I know that they are going to be um, fatigued. So I've got a lot of work to do in that regard. Give me a couple few minutes. All right. So, so our plan for next round is for... Uh, we're, we're stealing this plane, so we got to open the hangar doors and uh, and get the, and get everybody on board the plane and get it started. Uh, we got to get this slow ass, like you know, floating jellyfish squid thing into that plane. Someone might need to pick me up. I'm not sure how heavy I am. Oh, I have a plan. I mean, I float using lighter than air gases, so I'm assuming not all that much, all things considered. Well, uh, remember, yeah, but how much do you weigh? You can go higher, okay, than, than two meters, but it would require a, uh, basically a, almost a dex check to, to get you like on top of the plane, okay? And then you would be back in, in normal territory, as it were. Okay. My question is, how far can I discus throw him? <laughs> be nice, Mo. <laughs> no, I, I, as a, I as a player would be all for it. I as a character, not so much. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> all right, Stollinger. I grab two tentacles and spin all the way around and like let go. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Team Rocket's plastic off again! Yeah. Oh, no. you, you know if you rip one of those arms off of them, they grow them back. <laughs> really? <It hurts. laughs> I, I don't know if that works for Stallengers. I know it works for Starfish. I don't know. <laughs> Let's stop tester! <laughs> We're going to get to a point where kind of you guys can can role play once everyone is inside the hangar i'll probably end cool. the combat we were having a lot of problems with the technology involved in roll 20 this evening um and i had a, a big map and a lot of bad guys and all of that added together to make a huge slowdown in the game so i had everybody go and take a bio or do their you know get a snack or something like that um while i was changing the fatigue numbers on all of the bad guys because that's what had come up on the conflict line for them uh, so once everybody was back, well, once at least Mo and, and Thuban's players were back, they started kind of a dialogue. Thuban turns you, it's like, you also transformed to one of the other Cosms, I think they're called? Yeah, 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 sure did. How's that been treating you? Love it. This is one of the greatest things ever. Uh, oh, yes. I love this invention they have in I.O. called writing. It's marvelous. I tell you, it's novel, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, the typewriter. Wait till you find one of those. Well, maybe you won't find one of those. Uh... 
dear, you're one of the ones more advanced than mine. I was going to start lording all of our cultural innovations over you, and then you're light years ahead of us already. Yeah, yeah we have rocket packs. Oh, that's egg on my face. Yeah. yeah, you float around on highly explosive gas. I don't think it's explosive. I've set off way too many of Shali's invocations of Hellfire to know that I should have exploded by now if my gas were flammable. You sure about that? <laughs> yes. I mean, biological entities don't usually produce helium, but hydrogen? Oh, they can make that. Is this yeah, a sir. movie where you want to attempt to light hearts or something? <laughs> Are you sure you don't use methane as your floating gas? Uh, I mean, the, bell, the band always has the constant smell of some kind of weird flower, but not methane. I mean, Probably some kind of grim flower associated with death. That's the form of the dark mark on his soul from the darkness park. Yeah, get injured in one good spark. Ooh. Ooh, that's quite the setback. Hmm. That's more of a critical problem, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just glad to find Peaches, and I wonder where that scamp Chris is. Weren't you supposed to be dead, apparently? <laughs> I I don't know. I, I you know I I, I was going to tell Peaches all about it when I. Yes, when last I, I recall. Uh, when we were trapped inside that digging machine, look, that's a separate story in and of itself. Uh, Peaches said she found your body. Oh, God, I remember when that happened. Oh, what's that been? 10 years ago? 15? Oh, my gosh. What? Uh, it's been like three days ago. Yeah, exactly three days ago. I heard of affecting time through magic, but never to that scale. Mm. What happened to you, Mo? Usually it involves a blue box that's bigger on the inside. Oh, 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 no, you didn't. You did not. The knights who rescued me in the underground told me all about these wonderful stories. Uh, uh, you that uh, as, you know, you know, time was just as massive as we were only timey Uh, no, they mentioned all of those phrases were bad. They didn't like the new stuff, whatever that means. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, the uh, the original authority was so much better. Yeah. yeah. No, that was still 20 years beyond my time now. Never mind. Actually, it might not. What yes. caused the timeline shift? I have no idea. Uh, I, I didn't know there had been one, actually. I mean, you know, you know I, I thought it had been like, you know, 20 years. Yeah, or 15 years. Yeah. Where were you for all that time? Chicago, Terra. Oh, one of the other possums. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I woke up over there. Uh, oh, apparently, I mean, I, I woke up and I was, uh, you know, some, some mystery men had found me. And, uh, yeah, I was, uh, you know, they, they, they drug me uh, or they, 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 you know, like managed to. Uh, nursed me back to health. I, I was pretty banged up, apparently. And then once I uh, once I got better, I, I started warning them about the uh, about the invasion and uh, you know, what was going on over here. But that hadn't that wasn't happening. And, you know, I thought, oh my God, well maybe I maybe I got blasted through to somewhere completely different, where um, where, where this Mobius wasn't the one attacking. Uh, this Earth, and I was somewhere completely different. But uh, uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, who knows? This this reality stuff is way beyond my pay grade. I am a simple chaplain. Yes, I literally only just learned how to speak this language a month ago. <laughs> this is very weird. Mm. Yes, but you guys are both amazing. Uh -huh. and uh -huh. Thank you. Uh, I give you. Thank like, you. Uh, Oh, that's very flattering. Uh, 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 Mo, uh, I thought you were dead. Uh, I kept this. And she hands you over the, the T-Rex tooth necklace that you made. Uh, oh, man, you kept one. That is so sweet. All these years. Oh, I'm sorry. For three days. Somehow that... <laughs> really, 
Somehow that really removes the sentimentality of it. Um, Our timeline, we're on the same scale as yours. I probably would still have it. Ah, oh, that's so sweet. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, no. I, it's just I, like I, that Doctor Who episode, The Girl Who Waited. Yeah, you know, I mean, when I woke up, and you know, I, I wanted to do my bit to stop this Mobius fellow. So I, uh, I, I petitioned to join the Rocket Ranger Corps. Yeah, and, and you know they they, they took me in, uh, and and I and I and I took uh, I, I took your last name Penny because uh, uh, or Peaches because I I I don't have a last name. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. yeah. that must be your your brothers in arms for real. I guess so. I'm, yeah. I'm I, determined I to work my way up the chain of wizards and earn a surname myself. Well, good luck with that. Someday I'm going to be Thuban of the One Tower, I tell you. Uh, the you One gonna... Tower? Uh, it, it would take a while to explain magical theory, but the basis of it is that very skilled mages get to add the surname of the Blank Towers to their names. So you have Forces mages to get of the Four Towers, or... If you don't specialize in a school, you get of the 22 Towers. Because all of my... Uh, because I'm skilled in <coughs> the dark arts, I would eventually be called Thuban of the One Towers once I learn enough spells. Uh huh. Well, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Well, you're just going to yeah. be a real butter and egg man, aren't you? What's butter? Oh, uh, butter. Yeah, it's a. It's a. Uh, uh, Something made out of the milk of cows. Very delicious. Yeah. Can be made what's, out of sheep and goats. Yeah. What's this milk thing? You lived in Isle and you don't know what milk is? I was underground for roughly, let's see, passage of time, uh, four months. It's just one of those things that you uh, need to try it before you explain it. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get you some. Oh, toast. I thought the only thing you have on toast is beans. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> you can have anything on toast, really. Uh, SpaghettiOs, uh, beans. Gospog? Uh, <laughs> never tried that one, but okay, you see where I'm going. I am a vegetarian. Oh. Does that mean you don't eat um, eggs or, or anything like that? Uh, I don't. I prefer not to eat meat, but eggs are not meat. Who wouldn't eat eggs? Eggs are wonderful. Oh, good. Then, then you'll like butter. That's true. Butter goes well with eggs. So does toast. And now, and now that food ban is done dunking on the vegans. Uh, that's all right. Vegans aren't really people. <laughs> you got, any of you guys ever see Scott Pilgrim versus the World? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. That's two hours of my life. I'll never I'm just, that. I'm just thinking of that one bit when the third evil ex-boyfriend is deprived of his powers via the vegan police. <laughs> what? Oh. Uh, cake's not. Yeah. What? Cake's cake's not vegan. That's milk and eggs. You guys are all moved, right? Uh huh. Yes. You, you've done everything be for the round. Uh, anybody besides me just really want to steal that car. <laughs> I do. But I, now I'm looking at that uh, propane tank, wondering if I can blow it up with a shotgun. Uh, if it was a Pinto, sure. I don't know how in production Pintos are in the Nile Empire. Um, the, 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 the short answer to that is probably not. The, the, the long answer to that is why in God's name would you want to do that when you're standing 10 feet from it? I mean, you're speaking from a realistic <laughs> perspective, but in the Nile Empire rule of drama reality, Pinto is probably their equivalent of a Ford. They're everywhere. <laughs> uh, well, actually, this is the Nile Empire. Yeah, you, a shotgun blast would blow that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, may, it, may or, 
It may or may not affect us at all, depending on whether or not that's dramatic enough. <laughs> you spoil all the fun that way. Here, here's the key to surviving an explosion. Pose dramatically with your back to it. Mm, and the walks. conversation somehow turned back to Power Rangers. Explosions <laughs> only ever hurt you if your backs are to them and you will be blown up by them when they're 20 feet away. If the explosions are right next to you, you won't be hurt. <laughs> oh, oh, Pam, I, uh, I tell you, what I, what I miss is, is the space giants. Do you like Micro Omegas by Voltaire? No. But Voltaire is good. <laughs> uh, the Space Giants, that was a uh, old Japanese giant robot show from the 60s. Ah, yeah. live action? Live action. It was great. <laughs> great and it, good, it's like, it was bad and now it's great because it's bad or was it just great because it's great? Well, when you, when, when, when you were 12, it was awesome. You know, it, 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 it holds up reasonably well. I mean, you know, for, for as dated as it is, but <laughs> cars, pay phones, you know, nobody had no such thing as cell phones. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Ugu, the Ugu men, which are uh, some sort of like animated gelatin, and if you blast them with a laser gun, they just melt into pools of green jello. Yeah. <laughs> and there's always some giant monster that the that Goldar has to come and fight. Wait, Goldar as in the Power Rangers villain? Why don't we keep coming back to this? <laughs> I was really upset when they made Goldar a Power Rangers villain. I was yeah, like, just, oh, he just no, the Goldar. Ape man that Rita Repulsa works for. No, that's or the other wrong, way around. That is the wrong Goldar. <laughs> Uh, Maybe Dark. they treated him better in the 2017 Power Rangers movie where he was just a giant robot made out of molten gold. That was pretty cool. Uh, that's closer. Yeah, and Elizabeth Banks turned directly to camera and said with as much ham as she could chew, make my monster grow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will say, the, tw the 2017 Power Rangers movie was flawed, Nowhere near as terrible as Michael Bay's Transformers. Okay, now I'm going to get offended here. That, right. that, that just was a step too far. Okay, that, the first that's... Transformers movie was okay. Okay. Dogfight. Yo. Uh, I'm going to move you back a little bit. You are actually still inside the shed for this remaining round. So, Colonel Manatep here does not see you. Um, and let's see, Penny Peaches is the only one that remains outside. You hear Peaches, and actually all of you are going to hear this because there are multiple voices saying it. Um, these two guys right here, this guy right here, Colonel Manitep, this guy, and this guy are all screaming at once, HALT at you. Penny? Yep. Like um, that's going to happen. <laughs> so um, you're actually getting fired on from three locations. Uh, ST Runner 1 here, Colonel Manitap, and uh, Shock Trooper 4. So let me kind of let me kind of get these done all at one time. If I can. Okay. So, uh, Squad B, SC Runner 1. Take a dodge! Uh, yeah, see. active dodge. He's got a Schmeiser MP40, and he goes to fire at you. He's got minus two because of his, uh, because of the range. And... Let's see. I don't think that's going to hit. Uh, let's see. <laughs> No, that's not going to hit because he's got a modifier minus two. He's wounded and he's stymied at minus two. So his result is three. Um, <laughs> he's not hitting nothing. Um, okay. So that's ST Runner 1. Any chance he shot the other guy? Um, let's see. Let's do Colonel Manitou. 
I gotta find him first again. Because I gotta go back and reopen everything because they they don't support it. Okay, he's got a Mauser pistol. Ooh, what is his range from you? No snapping. 23. Okay, so he is he is still at short range. Uh, so let me pop him open. Mauser pistol. Come on. Mauser pistol. Submit. Hello. Are you going to roll today? Come on, guys. Are you in the right uh, layer? I'm, I'm in the right layer and everything. I've got to open this guy up. Mauser pistol. No bloody freaking stupid modifier except what he's already got. There we go. And he misses. Uh, he's not going to disconnect because he's already part of the Nile Empire. Um, and then let's go after Squad B, Shock Trooper 4. He pops up. And you know what? Come to think of it, let me do a measurement here because he might also be... This guy's going to throw an actual uh, short burst at you. There we go. The head he missed. <laughs> oh, man. I'm, she's going to bulletproof all of a sudden. Not yeah. that that's going to happen. But... You never know. All right. So those three are done. All of these guys have moved. They've done all of their stuff. Um, let's see. Those two guys are dead, so nothing comes off of them. And... Stymies now have to come off. The sergeant from Squad B is trying to shout some orders um, the, uh, at his men that are behind him. Uh, Colonel Manitep took a shot at you. The runner took a shot at you. Uh, these other guys are not really close enough to, to do what they need to do. Oh, geez. I hope taunt is next because I'm going to do a double action that includes a taunt. It might take a minute. Because again, this thing is okay. so slow. It's moving so slowly. And that was everybody, right? So next round. I think the mob rules might be very helpful going forward if there's ever too many NPCs. Well, the the things happen, and I'm gonna I'm gonna blame my players here because things happen in such a way that it kind of activated the 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 bad guys in a way that I did not expect. <laughs> so you invaded an army base. There's an army on the base. <laughs> Sorry, yes. but if, if, you, if you if you read the actual adventure uh, that that I've got, it says, "Well, take your time and have some fun with this." I didn't expect you guys to engage one or two guys here or there, or you know, like the guard dog and the. It, it just. It, it all just kind of fell apart. And you guys have a habit of doing that. You know that? <laughs> <laughs> I've been in this group for three sessions. You yeah. can't leave it alone for a it's minute. Just, say it, it, it's not my fault. This is my first night. <laughs> okay. But we're a bad influence. Pay no attention to the rant of the Game Master. We're just a bad influence. 